in Saga Sign, Wesley County Am. Today is Thursday, August 22nd. And I am Parker Long, and this is SNN. To start today's show, we want to call attention to the current fire blazing the Brazilian Amazon. For three weeks, the Amazon has been burning, which is greatly due to the increase of use of damaging industrialization, such as logging and unsafe agricultural techniques. We hope that the fires are put out soon and that this acts as a wake up call to shift industrial methods. Please stand for the flag salute. Please stand, put your right hand over your heart. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. There are seven COC classes that will meet after school at Saugus for any junior, junior or senior that is interested. Classes start next week and run through December 5th. Applications are available in the counseling office. Interested students must complete the application and register through COC. Students will earn, will earn both high school and college credit. There will be an informational meeting today at lunch for anyone interested in being a part of Saugus' equestrian team. Open period stickers are now available at brunch, lunch, or during your open period. All students must have their ID cards at all times when on campus. Club day is tomorrow at lunch at the outdoor stage. Each club will have their own table explaining their purpose and mission. If you are not feeling well or have injured yourself, obtain a pass from your teacher and head to the health office. Do not contact your parents and expect to be summoned from class. All 9th and 10th graders that need to be dismissed from campus during the student lunch hour must be signed up by their parents or legal guardians in the attendance office. Now let's go to Mr. Marsha and Mr. Lapata with your Athletic Director's Minute. Good morning, Saugus. I'm Mr. Marsha, and this is Mr. Lapata with your Athletic Director's Minute. Every Thursday, Mr. Marsha and I will appear on SNN to recap the week in sports and congratulate Centurion athletes that are doing amazing things for our campus. We also name a Chronic Taco Male and Female Athlete of the Week as well as, as, well as Coach of the Week. The recipients of the award receive a free lunch from Chronic Taco. Today we would like to recognize an athlete for his recent accomplishments this summer. Basketball player Nate Perez was one of only five sophomores across the country to participate in the prestigious Adidas camp held in Arizona. Great work, Nate. And congratulations to our football program for winning the Burrito Bowl on Tuesday night. We hope your stomachs recover in time for Friday night's season opener. Last but not least, make sure to follow at Saugus Athletics on Twitter for all your sports news, scores, and announcements. This week, we are giving away a one-of-a-kind Saugus Athletics t-shirt to one lucky follower who can correctly answer our trivia question of the week. And this week's question is, what former Saugus baseball player is currently celebrating his ninth year of pitching in the major leagues and made history by hitting a three-run home run on the first pitch that he saw? Reply with the correct answer, and you might be the owner of this awesome t-shirt. If you're not sure of the answer, ask Mr. Minyard, because he was in attendance. That's all from us. Good luck to our football team in their season opener against Granada Hills, and good luck to our girls' volleyball team today in their home opener against Burbank. Now let's go to Big O, Owen Gatlin, with your sports news. Good morning, Saugus. I'm Owen Gatlin with your sports news. Girls soccer tryouts will take place Monday through Thursday at Central Park on fields 5 and 6, beginning at 2 p.m. and ending at 4.30 p.m. If you have a seventh period, then go to the field as soon as class is over. Players will need to be dressed in soccer attire and have cleats, shin guards, and water. For more information, see Coach Miner and the boys' PE office during, fir during the first brunch or lunch. Students interested in joining this year's swim team and dive team must attend a lunch meeting next, next Tuesday in X2413. The first intramural competition of the year is here. 
the John Gruden Likes Execution 5-on-5 five five Dodgeball Tournament sign-up sheets are available in the ASB office. All teams must consist of at least five players and have an appropriate team name. Fantastic prizes like Dodgers World Series tickets will be given to the winning teams. All Stoga students are eligible to play. Sign up today and don't forget to dodge, dip, dive, duck, and dodge. That's all for me. Measles has, released, has recently be resurfaced in the largest epidemic following its eradication in 2000. Here's Sharon Uxel with more information. The real concern over measles and tonight a public health emergency has now been declared in Washington state. We're going to get the latest now on that measles outbreak. Largest measles outbreak. Major measles outbreak. Starting in 2018, the measles resurfaced in the largest epidemic since the disease was declared eliminated in 2000. Measles is a very contagious virus that lives in the mucus of an infected person, and it can be spread to others through coughing and sneezing. Some of the early symptoms include having a high fever, a cough, a runny nose, and red, watery eyes. A few days later, small white spots may appear inside the mouth. Then. The red measles rash breaks through, and fevers may also get worse. After a couple days, both the rash and fever fade away. Although we have developed vaccines to prevent measles in America, it is still a common disease in some parts of the world, and American travelers who were not properly vaccinated have brought it back into the United States. Measles have affected states all across the country, including Arizona, California, Colorado, Florida, Georgia, New York, and many more. Some of the most popular outbreaks occurred at UCLA, Disneyland, and more recently at LAX. Reportedly, a traveler with measles passed through LAX over Memorial Day weekend, causing airport officials to issue warnings for those around the infected person. Measles is becoming a bigger problem with the Center for Disease Control and Prevention, also known as the CDC, reporting that as of June 1, 2019, there were more than 1,000 measles cases in the U.S. since the beginning of the year. In order to avoid measles, be sure to wash your hands often. If you don't have access to water and soap, make sure to disinfect regularly using hand sanitizer. For the Saugus News Network, I'm Sharon Uxell reporting. Don't forget to wash your hands often. The Little Free Library. The Little Free Library is located outside of Q1709. Students are welcome to take or leave any books. Saugus Reach will be hosting college guest speakers through the end of the semester. Any junior or senior inter student interested in attending can obtain a permission slip from Mrs. Hillstein in Q1715 at lunch. Spots will be limited. After school CCR classes start next week. If you are taking a class that meets after school at another campus and have any questions, see Mrs. Delquist in the counseling office. Applications for the California Scholarship Federation are now available in Q1701 at second brunch or lunch. Complete applications are due no later than Friday, August 30th. If you have any questions, see Mrs. Colada in Q1701. Yearbooks are now for sale online and in, the ASB and in the ASB store. Books are currently available for the early bird price of $60 with an ASB card and $65 without. Prices increase for the first time in October. There are no more parking spaces available and there will be no sales to juniors this year. Sorry. That's all for today. I'm Wesley Kynam. Stay tuned for SN Radio and Saugus Today. And I'm Parker Long. Have a great day, and we'll see you tomorrow.